Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Will. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So the other day, I posted some Instagram stories and your quest for cool videos. And you guys replied saying you would like to see me make pink slice. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what we're going to be making in today's video. So if you enjoyed these type of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the recipe. Right guys, first we're going to make the dough really basic. Here I've got some room temperature butter and sugar and some vanilla. I'm going to cream all this together using this beauty here, right here. Guys, I can't recommend this tool enough. Go check it out, place a link in the description. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. If it's not room temperature, if it's too cold, just pop it in the microwave for about two to three 10 second pulses and see where it's at. It may take longer. Just place the softened butter into the bowl and add the sugar to that. All the measurements guys are going to be in description down below so you can follow along with me at home too. And add a little bit of vanilla extract, about a, teaspoon, a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. All depends on your preference. And you're just going to cream this up until pale and fluffy. Add your egg yolk. That's that done. That's what you're looking for. Now it's time to add in your flour. Oh, I've added a bit of salt to this. Because it's always important to add some salt to baking goods. Improves the flavour. And you're going to add it in two stages. Because you don't want to overmix this. It makes it a lot easier to incorporate it if you're doing two stages. Get your spatula and just fold it in. Try your best to not overmix this. If you prefer to use your hands, use your hands. Just combine it all together into a bowl. Guys, if you're worried about getting your hands sticky, it's gonna happen when you're making this type of stuff. So just get over it and just do it. Hey guys, I have got a tray which has been greased with oil and lined with non-stick parchment paper. I always like to have some parchment paper overhanging so it's easy, so it's got some handles so you can easily lift it out once it's done. It's no right way of doing it, you just press it in there, press it down. You can get a cup if you want to compact it down, but your fingers would do. Just make sure that it's nice and even, it's all the same thickness, so it cooks evenly. Now I've done that. Now I like to put some dough up the sides to create like a mini border to, so it keeps all the, the jamming. The border should be about one and a half inches to two inches tall. Right guys, now that's that done. For the jam, you can use raspberry or strawberry jam. That's totally up to you. Once you pick the jam that you desire, evenly spread it across the base of the pastry. Guys, make sure you spread the jam right in the corners so you get a bit every bite. Now for the topping, it's, I'm gonna do a bit different. Now just get some cling film. This is a good trick of mine when I'm rolling out pastry because it means I don't have to use any excess flour plus it gives a nice smoother finish to the dough once you roll it out. You're going to place another sheet of cling film over the top. This will make sure the rolling pin does not stick to the dough and you'll be able to roll it out a lot thinner using this method compared to the traditional just using the bench with flour. Once you have it used to stick into the dough I like to use the tray as a template so then you can use that as a guide to cut around. Then carefully flip the dough on top and remove the cling film. Now carefully press the edges down to knead it up. Now bake this beauty at 180 degrees for approximately 30 to 35 minutes until the top is a gorgeous golden brown. Guys, this is what you're looking for. Nice golden, nice golden on the surface. That's exactly what you want. Now guys, we're just going to let this cool room temperature. If you want, you can pop it in the fridge for a few hours to speed up the cooling process. Now guys, it's time to make the icing that we're going to pour on top. So easy. Fill this up with some water. Cold water that is. And just, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to mix it and get it the consistency I'm happy with. It should be runny, but still thick enough to coat. Just add it little by little. You can always add, you can never remove. Just mix it in. Yeah. 
that's what you want. Thick-ish, because it's still running. It's still running, but you can tell it's gonna cool something when it sets. It's time to add the pink food coloring. Just add a few drops. Yeah, that'll do it. Just mix it in. Look at that, guys. Magical. Now place a few drops of pink food colouring on top. Then I like to use a cocktail stick to connect all the dots of food colouring together. And then guys I like to tilt the tray so it all mixes in with each other. And look at that guys, look how wonderful that looks. Now guys we're just going to place this in the fridge and leave it overnight to make sure it all sets. So guys have a look at this, come on, let's see how we've done, this is looks insane. Guys, you, can you agree with me on this one, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look great? The colours are incredible. Now let's give it a, let's give it a, a cut. Let's see how we've done. Eee, look at that. Perfect. Hello, oh, I look at that guys. Look at that. Oh, incredible. Guys, like always. The measurements are going to be in the description down below, like I've already said. And guys, if you ever try this recipe out, take a photo of it and send it to me on Instagram. I'd love to see how your pink slice went. And guys, if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. And, and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. So then you get notified when I upload a new video, which is every week, if you didn't know. And that's it for today, guys. Take care. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Now, oh, I'm going to have a bit of this.